as well as having single student accounts, you can also have groups of your students so that you can assign things to multiple students at the same time. So to create a group, click the Create Group button at the top right of the students area, and you can call it whatever you want. Tiger group. If, for example, you had a group called that in your studio, and then add whichever students you want to be in this group. You can put a description if you want and add a photo if you would like to from your files. You don't have to. You create the group, and now if you click on that, you can add assignments here just like you can in an individual student tab. You can also update the profile to change the photo later, or change the name, or who's in the group. However, you don't have the messages section or the statistics for that group since they don't practice as a group. So you can add any assignment from your library to this group. And once you do that, it will go to all of those students. You can only mark it done from the group view. So if I go to one of the students that I put in that group, Claire, You'll see this is showing in her assignment list, but it has this special symbol with the group on it. That means that I can't edit it here. I don't have the edit symbol. I have to go to the group by clicking on that little symbol to edit there because it edits for everyone together. If I mark it done, I'm marking it done for everyone and it won't appear in any of their lists anymore. So it's only for things where multiple students are working at the same pace on the same item.